Hello there, this is Dave Allen for No Stylus and for Video Magical, and today I'm going to have a look at using the Precision Trimmer in Pinnacle Studio. So let's first of all start by taking one of these clips and put it into the timeline. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to do a bit of selection here. So I want to start around about here, and I want it to end around about here. Now I can drag that, drop it onto the timeline. Except I didn't drag it, I just managed to set the endpoint again. So let's just try that again. Move this endpoint over to this end over here where I wanted it in the first place. Obviously, what I did then is I did a downward motion which reset the endpoint. Okay, so let's try again. Drag it and drop it this time into the timeline. Very good, I've got one piece of. Uh, video in there now and let's get another bit of video this is this one here and I'll just take the whole of this video and I'll drag this and drop it down into the timeline and we'll put that in there for the purpose of using this trimmer I'm just going to get rid of the uh, cross dissolve that we had in there and we're just going to work basically on getting this setting just right what we need to do is we need to select one of these clips and we want to go to this end of it where the cut is I'm going to tap on that there and now we're into the precision trimmer. Now in the precision trimmer what you've got is you've got the very last frame that the video to the left is uh, showing and we've got the very first frame that the video to the right is showing and what we can do is we've got uh, this one to the left that is uh, the one we're working on at the moment and I can use these little uh, things here to go minus one frame to that side or go plus one frame to that side or if I use this one here I can go plus ten frames or minus ten frames so by using this here you can set it so that the end point is exactly where you want it frame perfect if I want to do some work with this one over on the other side here I'll tap on that there and now I can move that and I'm going through the video clip and maybe I wanted to have it start there instead. So that way I'm going 30 frames to the right or 30 frames into that video on the right and I'm moving this one here plus 11 frames on this one here. So that's how you do a bit of precision trimming with the precision trimmer. Now another thing you might want to do is you might want to do a roll trim. Now roll trim is where the length of the video has to stay the same. So what happens is that you move the cut along and as you move the cut along you're going to take some frames from one and put it onto the other. And to get that started what you have to do is you have to tap on this thing in the middle, this thing that looks like a chain link. And now we're going to have some roll trimming. So to do the roll trim you've got all these uh, things in here before. So if I do one to that way there, that has moved it one frame over to the right as it were so one frame further into the video or i can do it 10 frames at a time you can easily see from these frame numbers at the top there that i've actually moved it 22 frames on the video to the left and i've moved it plus 41 frames on the video to the right so you can see exactly how much of a change you've made another thing that you can do if you want to is you can see how this cut is going to work by doing a real time play of that cut so I press this one in the middle here and that's going to start playing it. So that's what the cut actually looks like. And it'll keep playing that over and over until you're happy with what you've got. So now we've got the roll trim. If I tap on the one on the right, that puts it back into the ordinary precision trimming mode again. At the moment, I've only got the two bits of video in there. So there's only one cut there to work with. But if I wanted to work on a previous trim or a previous cut, then I tap on that there and that takes me to the start of that one there. Or I can tap on that one over there and it'll take me to the right. Click on done and we can come out of the precision trimmer. Let's just select a short bit of that there. Drag it and drop it into the timeline. We'll get rid of the cross dissolve for a moment. So at the moment we're looking at the cut in between the last two parts of the video and let's see I want to go into the precision trimmer so I'm going to tap on that thing at the bottom there that's taking me into the precision trimmer. 
So now what I can do is if I want to go to the previous cut, tap on that over there, and I'm looking at that cut between those two there. So there's something that you might want to do, and that is if you've made changes to your cut and in the end you don't actually like it, what you can do is just press the go back button and that'll put it back to the way it was. What you can do is if you want to put it back to the way it was, before you've uh, clicked on done, is just get those back to zero again. So that one there is back at zero. Let's choose that one there. And I'm going to just tap that seven times. And that's back at zero. So that's back as it was. And I can click undone and nothing has been changed. So there you go. That's a pretty easy way to use the frame counters to get everything just right in your precision trimming of your cuts. So this is Dave Allen for No Stylus and Video Magical. Have a look at both of those websites. Video Magicals, if you're interested in making videos, putting onto YouTube. So there you go. This is Dave Allen. Bye-bye now. Talk to you again soon.